what's up YouTube so I'm back again with another video yesterday I did the sea light install and today I'm gonna to be doing the rally armor mud flaps I haven't even had a chance to uh, edit the video for the sea lights but I'll get to that later it's a nice day it's nice and it's cloudy uh, it feels good outside it's like 65 degrees so it's perfect weather because I don't got the Sun beaming down on me so um, should be a pretty easy install and I'll kind of go through um, the process of installing the mud flips so stay tuned all right guys so these are the mud flips I'm installing today rally armor it's that new era font that they that they uh, came out with I think it looks pretty sick so I'm about to uh, already jack the car up in the rear put jack stands took the wheels off uh, and I'm gonna get started on the back so let's get started guys okay so first thing when installing the rear rally armor mud flaps we need to take this um, clip off with a flathead screwdriver you just pop it up and pull it out and then okay so starting here at the rear we're gonna slide a, one of these U clips on uh, at this angle is what the instructions say. And we're gonna slide it behind this blue part, but in front of uh, your plastic liner here. And then all the holes gotta align. This lower hole that goes down here. And this one right here has got a line right there, leaving this one exposed right up here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this into place and get to the next step. Okay, so now that we have the bracket aligned, you can see uh, the hole lines up perfectly. And um, the reason that they wanted you to put the U-clip at an angle is so it can clear this plastic liner right here. So yeah, make sure everything lines up perfectly. And then uh, the next step, of course, is... Well, first things first, we need to put this clip back in down here. And um, after we do that, I'll do that in a second. But after we do that, you get the rear rally armor mud flap and make sure it's facing the rear. And then we're going to put that up right there. And uh, I'll get to the next steps here in a bit. Okay, guys, so once you get the rally armor mud flap on there, you're gonna put a washer and um, a short screw that they provide right here in the middle. Right here, you're gonna put a washer and one of the nuts that are provided. Down here is the same thing, a washer and one of the nuts that is provided. Leave all of this loose because when I uh, install the other side and when we drop the vehicle, we're gonna want to line up the mud flap with the floor just to make sure it's even you can see right there that thing looks awesome so right now my car is a little bit dirty so before i go any further since i'm not going to be going behind the mud flap anymore um probably anytime soon i'm getting a wet rag and i want to clean um right here where all that dirt is like I said, I'm probably not going to be getting back there anytime soon after these mud flaps are on. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that down. Um, just something to think about when you're installing your own. I'm going to take the other one off really quick before it's tightened down and do the same thing. All right, so there we go. I wiped it down right there. Um, and we have a nice clean surface. And I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and install the driver's side uh, rear. I'm not going to go over that again. Uh, it's the exact same way as uh, I did on the passenger side. And after this, um, I'll drop it down and align them. And then I'll move over to the front. All right, guys. So those are down and uh, I already tightened it down. Put my wheels back on and I tried to tighten it down uh, after I lowered it. But I didn't have a stubby screwdriver. So there was no way of me tightening that down. And it all made it just a, a lot harder. So took the wheels back off and I just eyeballed it in the air which I think would be good enough they look pretty straight to me and uh yep it's looking good guys 
All right, guys, we're moving on to the front. Uh, these type of pop clips, you need a Phillips head screwdriver and you just twist it and then the middle portion comes out and then you just pop those out. That's three of those. And I'm not lifting this side up or taking the wheel off. I'm gonna try to install it just like this. Just turn the wheel all the way. It should give you plenty of clearance. Okay, and now that we got those um, pop clips off, we're gonna pull this plastic piece back and it's gonna be an S-clip, another S-clip down here, and a U-clip down here, and this is all gonna go behind the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, and there you can see I got the two S-clips up top and the U-clip down at the bottom, and this is gonna go back like that, okay? And then, um, you read in the directions, it says, uh, let me show you what the other one. This is gonna be bent a half an inch upwards, no more than a half an inch. And that's gonna basically curve it away from your tire when you're turning just like that. So yeah, it kind of tells you there's the little, right there you can see the indentions and that's where you bend it. Okay. and uh, this spacer is going to fill this void right there so it can be flush with the rest of it you can see it goes in that spacer is going to go right in there and then it's going to be spacer and then this mounting bracket and then you get your mud flap on there okay so I'm going to get that on there and then I'll be back basically what i'm doing here i already put i got the um spacer back there then the mounting bracket and then you get the long screw with a washer you put it right there so i'm starting with that and i'm going to leave it loose and then i'm going to line all these and then i'm going to put the rest of them in there all right guys so i lined it up to my liking and um tightened everything up and then i put the pop clip back there and uh, when you tighten these up, just tighten them up snug. Don't distort, you know, don't distort the washers and distort the mud flap. Just tighten it up snug. Should be able to hold just fine. The good thing about these front ones are really easy. You don't have to take uh, the wheels off. And if you ever need to adjust them, if you feel like they're not straight like you would like them, just turn the wheel and uh, get your flathead screwdriver out. I mean, your um, Phillips head screwdriver out and just adjust everything. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up and do the other side. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished it on up. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm loving the look. Like I said in a previous video, what's a Subaru without some rally armor mud flaps? So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If this video helped you guys out, go ahead and drop a like. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. And please go subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this channel and that'll help me out a lot. Um, hopefully you learned something from this. The Rally Armor mud flap uh, instructions are pretty good, really thorough, but it can be confusing. So I really hope uh, if anyone's a visual learner like me, this uh, video helped you guys out. And stay tuned for the next one.